Montana's waterways are one absolutely beautiful and so much fun, but they're so a part of our culture. From remote alpine swims to floating on the Clark Fork River and boating on Flathead Lake, one thing that connects all western Montana water bodies is that they don't have invasive mussels. We currently don't have any mussel-fouled bodies water in Montana. When we're thinking about aquatic invasive species, there's a lot to be lost, right? If we get an infestation of mussels somewhere in Montana, they can damage uh, irrigation infrastructure. They can damage boats and latch on to all kinds of watercraft. And watershed stewards want to keep it that way. I think that because there's so much joy in our waterways, that we can then take that next step and then care about how we can protect them into the future. One way is to pull into a boat check station to make sure an invasive species hasn't hitched a ride. We conduct an outside inspection of the boat. We then talk to the watercraft owner. We ask them a series of questions like where they're going, where they've been, that helps us assess the risk of the watercraft. And if there's a motor on it, we lower that to make sure there's no water in that motor that could be potentially harmful. We also inspect it for vegetation and then ask the owner if they have live bait or anything like that. Out from sunup to sundown, through heat, smoke, wind, and storms, watercraft inspectors are dedicated to keeping Montana muscle free. They are our first line of defense to protect our waters. On average, we see about 30,000 watercraft a year through here. We are the busiest station in the state by more than double. To give thanks, the Western Montana Conservation Commission is holding the fourth annual Watercraft Inspector Appreciation Week. They drop goodies by the station for us, you know, snacks and drinks, and we have a handwritten letter from them this year. Having that little bit of reassurance that people actually, you know, value what we do definitely helps push us through for the rest of the year. WMCC says people can show their support for inspectors and Montana's waterways by adding a few practices to their river routines. Anything that floats is considered a boat to make sure that there are no plants or animals on their watercraft, like clean drain and dry all their watercraft. In Clearwater, Emily Brown, MTN News.